Chapter 3, How Do We Know a Pipeline Simulation is Correct? There are sources of error in any pipeline simulation. These can be both the inputs, things like pressure meters and flow meters do not give perfectly accurate readings and the physical properties driving the system, such as soil temperature or viscosity of crude oil or that sort of thing are going to be imperfectly known. And all of these sources of input error will result in some degree of error in the output of the simulator. Now, a pipeline simulation is only going to be valuable to operators and designers and decision makers if they believe the results are accurate within whatever their desired level of accuracy is. So this has to be demonstrated whenever any simulator is installed, and this process is called validation. There are two main methods of validation. We have in-house at Atmos validated SIM against hand calculations to ensure that it is doing what we expect. But the ultimate test is that it produces the same values that we see in the field on a real pipeline measured at those meters that aren't being used to drive the simulation. You can read about validation and propagation of errors in pipeline simulators in chapter three of the Atmos Book of Pipeline Simulation.